Hello. Today, we're going to have a look at the specifics and options of the roof step. When you click on the roof step, here you'll find the different elements you need to design a roof. By clicking on roof, the different types of roofs appear here. You can draw them manually like this, point by point making sure you cover the exterior walls. If you have only one roof, you can check this box then select the type of roof. Finally, click on the check box to validate the roof. For all types of roof, you will find the options in the right panel. If you click in the middle of the roof you find, height, and, add point, with the exception of the flat roof, you will have the angle or the slope. For the flat roof, you will can modify the parameters of the parapets here. For a gable roof, you will have the possibility to offset the ridge. By clicking on the edge of the roof, other options appear in the right panel depending on the type of roof. Overhangs, underside, ridge start or roof valley. For example, to change the ridge start, click on the edge of the roof where you want the ridge to start and check this box. Delete your roof if you need to with the delete button and your keyboard or here. The roof dormers should be placed on the roof and wall dormers on the wall. You can change the parameters in the right panel. Please note that you can only change the opening in the wall's opening step. The Genoise's tiling and gutters have to be positioned on a bottom slopes. You will have the option to install them automatically on all of the bottom slopes. You can change the color of gutters in the right panel. The downspout can be placed where you want. The control key or the repeat action button will allow you to add several downspouts where needed. As with the gutters, you can change the color in the right panel. Finally, the roof scuppers have the same functioning than the downspout. That's it. Now, it's your turn. You can contact us if you have any question. The support team is always there to answer you.